Hello everyone and welcome to part 4 of the Galaga SDL tutorial series and in this video it's gonna be a pretty quick video we just are going to be creating our screen manager and this will let us switch between screens so so far we've been adding everything to the game manager and uh, the issue with that is that the game manager is the part of the, fr of the framework and I don't really like having um, multiple things from the game just attached to the framework, I just want one point to update and one point to drop. So that's what we'll be handling in this video. So the first thing that we need to do is create the class for our screen manager, and this screen manager will be a singleton class. So in our Galga filter, we'll add a new item, and this will be screen manager.h. And then we'll do our if not defined. Define So what we need to include is the start screen and since the Background stars are included in the start screen. We don't need to include that and the input manager is also included in the start screen. So uh, Include start screen dot h and then our class will be called game manager and then here we will need a private section public section and a private function section of course the private function one will just be our uh, constructor and destructor just like usual for our singleton classes so in here we will do screen manager oh why did I call it game manager screen manager so screen manager constructor and screen manager destructor there we go now for our public functions what we need is the instance and release just like we did before so static screen manager pointer instance and static void release and then avoid update and avoid render and that's all we'll need in our public functions now for the variables um, the variables we will need an enum to uh, identify each one of our screens that we're going to be switching between so we can create an enum screens and then here we will have start and play and this all we'll have for now maybe we'll add the credits later on now we need the instance which will be our static so static screen manager pointer as instance and we will need an input manager pointer and this is to capture the input for example if you're in the start screen and you press start you want to go to the play screen so we'll call this one m input and uh, we will have what we created in the game manager so in the game manager we have our background stars and our start screen so we'll move these over to here so background stars pointer and background stars and screen uh, start screen pointer and start screen so since we have these here we can remove them from our game manager now and in here instead of including these the start screen and the background stars we will just include our uh, screen manager so down here under events instead of these two screens we will just create a screen manager pointer so screen manager pointer and screen mgr and now if we go to our if we go to our um, game manager dot cpp, there it is. We have these two over here that we're creating. We can remove that and add m screen manager equals screen manager instance. And in our delete, instead of deleting these two, we will do uh, m. Well, first screen manager 
let's do that all the way at the top. So screen manager release and our M screen manager is going to be equal to null. So this should be it for our um, setup for the constructor and destructor. Now for the update, we'll just update the screen manager. So M screen manager update. And then over here, we will do an M screen manager render. And this should be it for this part. Now we can go back to our screen manager dot H and uh, continue with the uh, variables that we need. So the variables that we'll need is just one more, which is the current screen. So screens m current screen and this will be starting off as play so now we can go ahead and create our cpp file so we can go here galga add new cpp and this will be screen manager and then we'll include the screen manager dot h and initialize our static variable so screen manager pointer screen manager as instance is going to be equal to null. Screen manager pointer screen manager instance is going to be if s instance is equal to null. S instance is equal to a new screen manager and then return as instance. And then for our release, so void release, our screen manager release. In here, we will just delete the instance and set it to null. So delete as instance, and as instance is equal to null. Now we have our update and render and our constructor and destructor. So let's create the constructor and destructor first. Screen manager, screen manager. So in here we will create the new instances of background stars and M star screen. So the background stars was a singleton, so we'll use the instance of that. So M background stars is going to be equal to background stars instance, and our M start screen is going to be equal to a new start screen. Now for our input, we will say that our M input is going to be equal to input manager instance. And then um, the last thing that we need to do is set our current screen. So our current screen is going to be equal to start to begin with. So we'll say that our M current screen is equal to start. And this should be it for our screen manager constructor. Now for the destructor. What we'll do is release the background stars and delete our start screen and set our input manager to null. So m input manager m input is going to be equal to null because this is released in the game manager anyway. And then background stars release and background stars is equal to null and then m start screen or delete m start screen and then m start screen is equal to null and this should be it for the destructor now to move on to the update and render so void uh, screen manager update and void screen manager render okay so what we always need to update is the background stars so these will always be updated and rendered because they show up in every single screen that we have so we can say that our background stars update at the beginning and a render and background stars render 
Now, each uh, screen will be uh, on its own. So if we have the start screen or play screen, uh, once we have the start screen, we stop rendering the play screen and updating it. And uh, likewise for the play screen, we stop updating or rendering the start screen. So what we can do is just switch our uh, current screen. So switch M current screen. And then here we'll have case start and then break. So for start, we will say that our M start screen update. And then we'll do the same thing here. So switch M current screen, case start, break, and then M start screen render. Okay. So the last thing that we need to do now is to be able to switch between screens. And for that, we will go to our start screen dot H and over here, we need to get the current mode that we're selecting so that we know what to switch to. And we are saving the current, um, the selected mode in this integer. So we can just return it. So we'll say, int selected mode and we'll be using this later we won't really be using it for this video but it's uh, good to have it for now but another function that we will need is a way to uh, reset the animation of the start screen because once it scrolls all the way up when we come back to it we want it to scroll up again and for that we will need a void function called um, reset animation So in here, we will do void reset animation. And now we can go to the start screen and implement these two functions. So for the reset animation first, so void start screen. So this is in our start screen dot CPP reset animation. And what reset animation will do is do all of this. Everything that we have is setting the position and the animation timer and all this. We can cut this and paste it in our reset animation function. So now if we go back here, we can just call reset animation. And this should be good for this function. Now to move on to our, um, our selected mode, this will just return our M selected mode. So and start screen. Selected mode, return M selected mode. And this will be it for that. We can go back now to our screen manager and say that if M input um, key pressed is SDL underscore scan code return. So we'll switch screens from the start screen by hitting enter. So if this is pressed, what we want to do is M current screen is going to be equal to play. And then we will say that our M start screen reset animation. And then let's add something for the play screen now. Uh, even though we don't have it yet, we can have it so that the start screen now stops rendering. Oh, why do we have that in render? Whoops. This needs to go in update. So once the key is pressed, uh, once return is pressed, we reset the animation and set it to play so that that way when we go back to it um, from the play screen, the animation plays again. So we can add a case for that. So case, play, and then break. And we'll say that if escape is pressed in the play screen, we can go back to the start screen. So if M input pressed SDL underscore scan code underscore escape and current screen is going to be equal to start and this is just a quick way so that we can uh, switch between screens there is nothing for us to render yet in uh, uh, play screen so we can just leave that empty for now and we can go ahead and run the game and see what happens So we have this, 
we can pick between the two and then press enter. And when we press enter, we go to the screen. If we press escape, our start screen comes back up again. So now that we have this working, we can go ahead in the next video and start setting up our play screen. Uh, so this will be it for this video. Now we have this set up to switch between screens. Uh, I really hope that this video helped. If you have any questions, suggestions, or feedback, please leave them below. Uh, otherwise, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.